I've been using mainline sweet marine ground bait quite a lot recently. Really, really like it. It does a lot of things for me, and, and, and when, I, when I use a ground bait, I need it to be quite versatile. It's, for me, I don't just want a pole ground bait, I just want, don't want a feeder ground bait, I don't want a margin ground bait. I want something that I understand works. And one of the beauties about this ground bait is it's not got big chunky particles in it. And for my style of fishing, I like to have something that can control. It's nice and dry at the moment, but it still squeezes. I can wet it up. I can put it in um, through a cage feeder. I can put it in through uh, a method or a hybrid feeder. I can put it in with, with, with a little feed pot, constant feed pot on the pole. And I know that when that goes to the bottom, whatever it is, it's going to break down really quickly. You can squeeze it hard on a dry mix and it'll, it'll break down quickly. But it, it almost dissolves and it, it leaks out all the goodness in it without feeding loads to the fish. And that way you've got control. If you want to feed more for the fish, put some pellets in, put some, some maggots in, some casters, some, whatever you want to do, corn. But it, it puts you in control with what you're feeding the fish rather than choosing a ground weight that's maybe giving you too many particles. If you're fishing down the edge, for example, I mix it up with a bit of this, the margin mix, because there's loads of content in there. But I can actually chop and choose and decide what I want to use and how much content I can put in that bait every time. I've been using it on the feeder, uh, do a lot of cage feeder fishing and it's great because once again I like to create a little bit of a cloud falling through the water, especially in deep water where it's falling through. I like that bit of clouds come off just as the feeder's hitting the bottom. That's like a signal to the fish for me that there's bait there. The, the follow, fish follow the, the feeder in, they follow the cloud and slowly but surely with accurate and steady and constant casting, you get more and more fish in your peg. Once they get on this bait, there's loads and loads of good stuff in it. Loads of crushed halibut, things like that. Loads of little bits that fizz off. So it's got everything you need in terms of attracting, but once you get down there, once the fish get on it, they start to cough it up. Once they cough it up, when you put them in the net, that's when you know it's good stuff. <laughs>